Hey, Christopher Tritt here again, business executive, sales coach, and sales trainer. I'm going to give you a very simple message today. Stop wasting time if you're in sales. Stop wasting my time and everybody else's time in the marketplace. There's a very simple way to do this. You've got to have a passionate pursuit of developing perfect, perfect partner profiles. I don't like the term prospect. A future client is going to be a partnership, and that's long-term, that's relationship-oriented and relationship-driven, so that's why I call them partners. So what does that ultimately look like? Look, I'm blessed to live in beautiful southwest Florida, and we've got amazing fishing waters down here. So I'm going to give you a very simple analogy. If you come down here never having fished before, you may get some beginner's luck. You may go out there and catch something but uh, I would submit to you that uh, chances are better than not. It's just not going to happen. If you're smart about it, what you would do is you would engage, you would contract, you would hire a professional fishing guide. What's that fishing guy going to do for you? Well, he knows these waters. He knows where the fish are. He knows where the fish are running. As a matter of fact, all the fishing guides talk to one another. So they're sharing and collaborating information about where the fish are, where the fish are moving. Here's why that's important. When you hire that fishing guy, they know exactly where to take you to enhance your opportunity, their opportunity to present you with a chance to catch the best fish and to have a memorable experience, a memorable experience. It's the same thing in sales, okay? The days of the generalist are over. So along with this, what you've got to do is invest in yourself, invest in the market, invest in the constituency. And damn it, come forward and bring something of value. Don't come to the table as the lowest common denominator while you're in Hopa Hopa land that your company or you through your efforts are going to come in with the lowest price. Who's winning there? Okay, the future partner doesn't necessarily win there because in my experience, the lowest, the lowest cost usually means the largest amount of problems. Well, we all know what problems do. Problems cost money. So look at stop wasting time. Time is your single greatest asset. It's a commodity. It's a diminishing asset. Okay? So protect your time, but more importantly, if you're going to be in this sport, play it right, okay? Play it right. Don't mess up the sandbox for everybody else and cause there to be uh, hysterical activity based on the fact that you're going out and muddying up the waters because you don't know what the hell you're doing or who you're supposed to be calling on. So how do you do that? Okay, you have to first stop and ask yourself, you know, you know, my father always said to me when I was a young kid and acting as a knucklehead, hey, look, don't try to pull the wool over my eyes because birds of a feather flock together. There is nothing more true in the world of cliches than that one there. So think about the people that you grew up around and that you went to college with and your current friends today. What are their ideals? What are their philosophies? So transition that over to what your future partners may or may not look like so that you've got an acuity and awareness and alertness to understand how they act. Geographically, where are they? Uh, is it private? Is it public? Uh, what does the stakeholders look like? Who are the principals? Is it first generation? Is it second generation? Are they a progressive-minded company or are they playing defense because they've got a deep war chest? You need to understand all of these things. That's what's going to allow you, first and foremost, to enhance your opportunity, but moreover, the overall opportunity for the entire marketplace. That's a win. And at the end of the day, you've got to walk into this 100% of the time with an attitude, a philosophy of business that says the only business that's good business is where everybody wins. Okay, it's never good in compromise or in business to where one party walks away feeling like they got games or gamemanship over the other. That's just not good. That perpetuates that perpetuates bad ideals about the sales profession. Stop doing it. Stop doing it. So again, real clearly, you've got to have a passionate pursuit for developing perfect partnership profiles. Now, real quick, I'm smart enough to know that nobody's perfect, but if you've got a passionate pursuit for perfection and you land somewhere just below that, we're all going to be better off. I'm Chris Tritt. I love you. We'll talk to you again soon.